Various moves to probe the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC's remittances into the Federation account has more than tripled in the last couple of weeks. The deep hole now visible in the nation's pockets has clearly inspired more investigations and revelations. A company with the audacity to retain 42% of a country's money has become a veritable parallel republic. The Kaduna state governor and former FCT minister, Malam El Rufai, recalled how trillions of Naira was dubiously paid as oil subsidy and no one prosecuted for the scam. It's as clear as that any organization that feels entitled to take 50% of federation revenues for itself and give you the change has no right to exist. I don't care what you say, I don't care what excuses you create for such an organization. It is evil, it must die, it is just a matter of its death that we need to discuss. In a swift reaction, a participant kicked against the scrapping of the oil company. For you to say that you want to dissolve an NPC, you should be careful not to create another NPC. Because the problem, and that brings it to the kernel of what I want to say, the, the, the problem is not an NPC. The problem is Nigeria. When you have rule of law, when you have a fidelity, to the conscience of the law, every other thing we, we find its place. In this back and forth argument, the executive secretary of the Nigeria Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative says the country's oil and gas sector still faces one challenge. There's a lot of wastages. Um, if you look at the management of the oil and gas sector and the national oil company, the NMPC, but there are special funds that have been set up that are also being grossly mismanaged. The agreement here is that the NNPC needs a total reform, whether it's changing the management team or an outright scrapping of its operation. Any decision taken must bring the needed transparency to the nation's oil industry. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News. And as the debate over failed subsidy rages on, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Dogara, believes the only lawful way to remove failed subsidy is to amend the Price Control Act. He told the National Executive of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, who paid him a courtesy visit, that the mandate to make any adjustments is vested on the Price Control Board, which is presently not in existence. Just later, I can tell you there's something about the aspect of our laws that we're not looking at. There's the Price Control Act. And if you look at the Price Control Act, Section 4 of it, talk about regulating or controlling the prices of products that are listed in the first schedule to that act. Now, one, one of the products listed in the first schedule is petroleum products. So by law in this country, we must control the, uh, the, the prices of petroleum products. So for any discussions there to be meaningful, we have to put pressure on the executive. It's not legislative work to constitute a board. The board has to be put in place in line with the provision of that law. That law clearly stipulates who and who are the members of the board. And so as soon as the board is constituted, they can now decide to either completely remove petroleum products from the schedule to the act, and that way subsidy is gone.